New Year's is fast approaching, and for many of us, that means New Year's resolutions. Yet regardless of how excited we are at the moment we set those resolutions, the vast majority of us fail to keep them. In fact, back in 2015, Scranton University discovered that only 8% of the people who set health and fitness goals managed to adhere to them. And you have to ask yourself, why is that? I think there's a lot of reasons, but it comes down primarily to three. Decision, expectation, and focus. See, most people set goals with hesitation, not determination, because they misinterpret past failures as somehow being indicative of future possibilities. So while they say they want to achieve their goals for the next year, in the back of their mind, they're kind of thinking, yeah, but you know what, I've said that before, this year might not actually be my year, maybe the year after this year, we'll see what happens. And they start to tell themselves stories about how they lack time and resources and how they lack support and motivation and willpower. But in reality, what they truly lack is just one thing, and that's the decision to move forward and not give themselves any excuse for why they're turning back. And when things happen and shit happens to everyone, happens to you, happens to me, identify failure for what it is, a single isolated event. It is not an identity and they keep on keeping on. And the second reason falls into the category of expectancy. Now this year people are saying, oh Lord, I'm gonna have the best body of my life. But two weeks into their training program, when they discover they don't yet have the body of their dreams, they become discouraged and they give up. And think about this for a second. You win the lottery and they give you a choice between taking one million cash and a single penny. Well, anybody in their right mind would take the million cash. But what if they said to you that they were going to take that penny and double it every single day for the next 30 days? Well, still, the offer's not very enticing because that means tomorrow on day two, you'll have two cents. And on day three, you'll have four cents. And on day four, you'll have eight cents. And well, the next day after that, 16 cents. Well, that's almost a bit disheartening. But what's inspiring about that is if you hang in there for just 30 days, you'll have well over five million. And that's the power of compounding effort. See, every day you keep the commitment you set for yourself, the changes and the progress you're seeing might be so subtle, so seemingly inconsequential that you don't even notice, but when you look back 30 days, 90 days, 180 days, or a year from now, next New Year's Eve, on this year, New Year's resolution, you'll be amazed at how much you've accomplished. And the third reason that people struggle to keep their New Year's resolutions is because they focus on the wrong thing with the best intentions. We focus on results because it's so seductive to believe that results are the only thing that matter. But results are always a byproduct of strategies, behaviors, and processes. And when you focus on the behavior, you win every day you engage in it, building up the reputation that you've given yourself to live up to. Plus, you can start to examine things on the periphery of the process, such as how can I make this more enjoyable? Who else's support can I listen in the process? And if you engage in something that's enjoyable, eventually you bring yourself to the mindset where instead of you have to do it, you get to do it. And then the only thing in between you and your goal is the decision you made and the time it takes, but you're winning the game. I have a couple of exciting announcements that I'm gonna make in the next couple of days, so just hang in there. See you tomorrow.